that's what we're going to do this week. Tossing the veil at the front and the back. Tricky one to get right, but stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. So we'll start off with the veil at the front. What happens is we're actually taking the veil over one shoulder and then the other. Yeah? I'm going to show you from the side so you can see what's happening. And then I'm going to let go of the veil and I'm going to show you the arms because usually the veil is kind of hiding really the mechanics of what we're doing. What I'm doing is my arms are creating a figure of eight. If you look at this right arm, it's making a figure of eight. Now what people do too much is they tend to think that it's just kind of like going like this and like this, yeah? which it isn't. You need to create a lovely smooth figure of eight that actually is coming forwards and backwards. It's not happening at the side. It looks like it's happening on the side, but in actual fact, this arm is going forward and backwards. So I'm going forward and back. My palm is going over as I come forward, I mean downwards as it come forward. It's twisting and going back. My, my hand is scooping under, and over and back, yeah? Can you see? It's going like this, scooping in the same way as if you were just doing an ordinary figure of eight. If you weren't even thinking about it, I'm sure that that's what you would be doing. Same thing is happening on the other arm, of course, but in opposition. The other thing that is happening is I'm allowing my weight to transfer from one side to the other. If I show you in the mirror, so you've got the same arm as me, my right arm comes forward, my weight is on my left leg. My right arm comes back and my left arm comes forward, my weight's on the right leg. So I'm going forward and back. Can you see this arm is going over and back, forward and back, forward and back, yeah? Now, that should, that, that action of coming forward and backwards, particularly as you go back, that will bring the veil here onto your shoulder. It'll, and then this arm going back will push it onto the other shoulder. Let's do this. It does take a little bit of trial and error. Sometimes some people just pick it up straight away. And um, for others, in fact, I found the next one that we're going to do, I found it really tricky. It took me ages to work it out. But um, yeah, so don't worry if you find it tricky at first. But what happens is this arm comes back and that naturally results in the veil coming on the shoulder. I'll show you. So arm comes back, that naturally results and that happens. As I change and I bring this arm forward and the other one goes back, it naturally pulls it onto the other shoulder. Back and back. Can you see? So I'm, only, I'm doing exactly the same move as I did before. I'm not doing this. I can't even do it. That's what a lot of people do, and it's, it, it's just not creating a beautiful, smooth move. And you're not able to get air in the veil. When I'm doing it like this, I'm getting a lovely cloud of veil coming around me. The other thing to be aware of is you want to make sure that it doesn't go over your face. To do that, you don't want to bring the arms up too high. Yeah, you're going to keep that, those, those figures of eight down, down. Can you see I'm scooping under, scooping under, scooping under. Keeping those arms down will stop the veil from flying onto your face. The veil follows your arms. Now let's just do that one more time and then we'll do it to the back. So, weight on the right, right leg, that takes it over to the other side. I go to the other side, the arm comes back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Can you see that my body slightly turns, my upper body slightly turns back and forward, back. Here, yeah, I'll show you in the front, back. Can you see that the way that my upper body turns also means that it automatically makes the veil lift and go onto that shoulder. Let's do it at the back. Same principles apply, really. Don't know why I had such trouble with it when I was learning it. But, got the veil behind, this time the, veil, the arms come forward, forward, forward. Same thing's happening actually. I go down and back, down and back. 
So this time, I have the veil behind me. I'm going to start off, I've got my arms out to the side, I'm going to start off by putting the weight onto the left leg, bringing my right arm forward. So here we go. I'm bringing that arm forward and back. Right arm goes forward and back. And the left arm is just following, doing the same thing a little bit later. Weight goes over and over. Now, as I said earlier, don't lift that veil up too high, otherwise you're going to obscure your face. So think of going down and down, making your lovely scoop down, 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 down. Can you see that I'm transferring my weight? My upper body is slightly turning as before. The arms are coming forward and back. Watch this arm here and you'll see it coming forward and back, forward and back. Watch the other arm, it's doing the same thing. Forward, back, forward, back, forward. Yeah. Once you've got these off, you don't have to have your feet apart and be doing them side to side. You can bring the feet in together and do it. I like to do a little bit of a bounce, whatever. Yeah, it just creates more of a feeling of lift and flow. So give those two a practice, enjoy them. Don't worry if you find them a little bit tricky at first, they will come. If you've got any questions at all, put them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get my next lesson. See you next time.